hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php block tutorial and now guys in this video we are going to learn about how to set our navbar link to active okay so which means when we click on dashboard this should be selected as white by default so when you hover it's going out and when you select on view category so as you can see you have viewed the category but this collapse is closed right so we have to set that to active over here so guys now let's begin to set this okay so let's go to this sidebar in our admin dashboard so let's move to admin folder where inside includes we have the sidebar.php file it's over here okay so this is our dashboard registered user then category and post okay which is visible right so now let's move back yep and over here we have to start with the path so how can we find that so there is one server which is the script name so let us php open php close and i will just echo and show you first that so echo dollar page is equal to i want to get the server so server of script script underscore name name okay so let's echo this and see what happens so we are on the sidebar yep let's refresh okay so we are getting the output over here i don't know it's not visible i think so let's check over here here you get the output okay so let's try to okay it's not visible so let's copy this and let's see what happens over here let me just paste here refresh okay so we are getting this the path of our localhost okay your domain so we are getting like this and with this help of only we will be checking that so we are going to remove all unwanted things and just get the page name so for that case guys let me just refresh redo and here we are going to put this in a substring so sub substring so sub str and paste this give comma and again you are going to take this script name so let's paste here so now over here what you are going to remove from this we will take the str pos st double r pos and just take in the double quotes i want to give forward slash and accept all the extra values and keep in this okay so now let's try to echo this so what happens over here let's see refresh cool so you are getting only the file name that is your category dot php file okay so with this help of data we are going to handle all the inputs so yep let me just remove this we don't require now done guys let me just minimize this so you are going to take this page and go to your each nav link okay so inside this nav link let's open php is equal to close tag php and dollar page is double equal to inside single quotes you are going to tell the page name that is index.php index.php where question mark where you are we are using to ternary operator so to check now let's save and let's see the output refresh so we are on category view right so let me click on dashboard and here you your active is white over here color okay so yep let's get back and set for our registered user and this few details so let's copy this and this is our nav link paste here all set and same for the here this is your add category and view category there's the nav link and this is your so you just need to change all the page name so for registered users you are going to tell view register and for your category add you are going to tell category add 
dot php and for category view category view dot php which will set to active let's see refresh so i'm going to view on view category let's open and see see guys over here you can see that it's defaultly selected with white but now for this toggle case what we have to do okay when i refresh you can see that it's toggle is closed we have to keep that open also so we are going to handle with this only so first step let us copy this and move to your collapse a tag so this is our a tag and this is the category so inside this you can find this nav link and collapse right so over here you are going to add that code and you are going to say okay so when it is add means you have to be active let us show you the demo you are on category view so it's not set to active let's go on category add you can see that category that is white right now okay so it's white but we have to set that for view also so when you click on view category you should be able to select this active color so let's set that also just you have to give one or condition over here let's give or and paste that that's it and copy the page name either your add or view you have to show this as active refresh and here you get your on view category it's selected to white and your on add category it's selected to white color perfect so now let's give the code for to show and this toggle option so when your add category right it should be open it should be shown that links so you can just handle that by um, inside this collapse so let's come here and this is the path over here so i'm going to copy this same condition because we have to keep this only and over here instead of active you have to give show okay so if you don't understand this you have to check out the bootstrap documentation now you're on add category it's open let's tell view category it's open okay so when you go to dashboard it's not open and it's just normal okay so this is how we are working on it so let's go on view category and now if i try to edit over here you can see that it's gone so what you have to do you have to just add that code over here so let me just copy this okay copy and give or symbol and just copy the file name so this is my category edit.php so let us add that category edit.php when i'm at this page also you have to give the permission to show and for that active also you can set over here let's give or symbol and paste that that's it so let's save and you can find the output perfect so you're on edit php and you can view this so if you want this view category to make that active you have to add it over here itself just paste here done refresh that's it guys so on edit also you can see that it's on view category so same condition you have to give for your post also so let us just copy and paste that to finish it soon okay let's copy move to nav link collapsed and here paste so you can just you have to change that category to post post because my pages are almost same for everything and next was for the collapse to show okay so let's copy this show option and add that in the show yep and let's change this to post all set and so at this links you have to call that so let's copy this and paste here so let's make this post and same way for the edit i mean this is your post view and then for the edit post edit so let me just copy this and paste here and let's tell post edit.php save and you can see the output so let's move to add post perfect add post is there view post you can view and when you click on edit it should be edit post done guys 
so now um, we have successfully set that how to set a navigation item or nav links to the active in php so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share